Hi there. I'm going to show you how I made a quick disconnect battery cable system for two different batteries. I made the system because I keep my batteries topped up on a regular basis and I'm constantly plugging and unplugging connectors and I wanted something more durable than the connectors that come with the battery tender so that I can just disconnect and toss on the floor without worrying about the connectors. You need a battery tender of which comprises of the main unit plus the quick disconnect unit with the ring connectors at the very end. A length of wire with alligator clips. I got this one from a trickle charger that was broken. An electrical outlet that I got from Home Depot. 85 cents. Some ring end terminal connectors so that I could attach the cables to batteries and to other various points along the way. And a power cord that I got from a VCR with a plug at one end. So to start, I took a length of wire from the original trickle charger battery recycled part with the alligator clips. Um, took probably about two feet to three feet. This part of the wire uh, that I'll be cutting, I'll be using to connect to my motorcycle battery. Uh, to the quick connect portion of the project. I put some ring terminal ends on one end and on the other end I attached to the electrical outlet connector. Um, red was the spaded bit, the larger one, and negative was the narrower one. When you find a cord for your cable make sure you find one that has a polarized plug so that one plug is larger than the other so you don't make the mistake of uh, reversing the polarity when you plug it in with a spaded plug there's no mistake of inserting in correctly uh, for my project the larger plug or the larger spade was the red or the positive and the narrower spade was negative so at this part of the build, I have a length of wire with ring connectors at one end, which attaches to the battery directly. And at the other end, a wall outlet, which formulated one half of the quick disconnect system. To connect the battery tender to the junction box, I'm going to use my VCR cable, the plug end going into the wall outlet, forming the quick disconnect system. And the other end, I'm going to put on ring terminals so that it can attach to the junction box. The junction box is actually just a piece of wood that I had lying around. And since everything is made with the ring terminals, I'm going to connect them together uh, just using some more screws that I had sitting around. At this point, you can see it's a fairly straightforward connection from the battery through the quick disconnect connector uh, to my junction box where the ring connectors of the battery tender are directly connected to the ring connectors of the quick connect system. To connect the wires from the second battery to the system is pretty easy. All you really need to do is just put ring connectors at the end of the wires and attach them or connect them to the system in parallel with the battery tender and the first battery wires that you had set up from the quick disconnect system. In my case, I didn't even bother using ring connectors to connect the second battery to the system. I just threaded the wires from the second battery system uh, through the ring connectors of the first battery and the battery tender and just made sure that it was held down tight with the screw. My battery tender only has 750 milliamps, so even with a weak connection of just clamping the wire down, we'll easily transfer enough amperage through the connection to either battery. So what you see right now is a system that can charge two batteries at the same time with one battery tender in a parallel system. The batteries have to have the same capacity, the same voltage, the same state of discharge. But since I'll be using this system to charge two different batteries of two different sizes and two different capacities, 
I'll have to add a breaker switch so that only one battery will be charged at any given time. Initially when I was making this in the house, I was planning on adding a switch so that, as you see it right now, the, the quick connect fitting was always on when it was plugged into the wall receptacle outlet on the scooter. And when I unplugged that quick connect fitting, of course it was, the circuit was broken. And so then I would actually just flip a switch so that the secondary battery could start charging. And if I wanted to not charge the second battery, I would flip the switch off and then plug the quick connect fitting back into the scooter and that would be automatically connected, uh, the circuit completed and charging. But when I actually installed it into the car and the scooter, I actually added a toggle switch, which were just wall switches that I had sitting around. Um, you can use a two pole wall switch, but I didn't have a two pole wall switch and I didn't want to buy one, and I had two single pole switches sitting around. So it's a system where theoretically you could charge two of the same batteries at the same time, but to charge one battery, you'd have to have one switch in the up position and one switch in the down position. And if you wanted to charge the other battery, you would just flip the switches so that the other one would be on and the other one would be off.